So I was contacted just before lockdown um, to be told that the plaque that was in the Baptist Chapel uh, was destined for the skip because the Baptist Chapel had been bought by a developer and it needed to come off of the wall and um, make room for a mezzanine level for the new house. Uh, there are a number of people in this village that are direct descendants of Rex and it was of important local history that this was something that we saved. So the parish council was approached to see if we could rescue it and uh, find it a new home. So I had to quickly find a company that would come and take the plaque off the wall safely. And after a quick Google search, I found the wall memorial restoration in um, Cardiff. Then there was a bit of a long wait while um, we kind of worked our way through the pandemic and um, I was able to apply for a grant through the War Memorials Trust to help us pay for the restoration of the plaque and it took about 12 months in total but they finally uh, were able to uh, start work. Final part of the journey was to get the plaque placed in this church here in St Mary's and to do that I had to apply for what's called a faculty. Uh, another very lengthy form uh, and a lot of photographs and filling in documents uh, but the diocese agreed that we could place the plaque here in St Mary's. Rex actually converted from being a Baptist to a Anglican um, as, uh, for his wedding and his, uh, he got married here and his children were baptised here so it was uh, really fitting that his final resting place would be here in the church.